Um, hey, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Philip Sotella. And today I'm going to be talking about what it was kind of like growing up as an iPad kid. Um, thank you to the user, um, Children of Desire, for this epic video idea. I'll try my best to do this properly. Um, if you guys don't know what an iPad kid is, it's basically a kid that grew up, that, that, that has grown up using technology or just an iPad and was constantly glued to it. Which was basically me. <laughs> if you know me, you know that I actually forget most things. Um, but I remember a lot of useless information. So it's going to be pretty hard for me to try and actually remember wh wh what, it, what it was like, like growing up and stuff. Um, but basically, the, what, what I can remember is that I, I used to spend like basically every single day at my grandparents house because my parents were at work and at my grandparents house I would play on my iPad and sometimes I would play a lot of video games. I really liked playing Ratchet and Clank um, on the PS3. I really liked um, A Pure Arsenal, uh, Dead Locked, and Awful One. I actually remember when Ratchet and Clank Off 1 came out and when it was still like, you know, new. Which is kind of surprising because that game was released in like, what, like, late 2011, I think? So, yeah. I also used to watch a lot of YouTube, which if you've seen the video that I made a while ago where I talked about why I started doing YouTube and all of that stuff, then you, you'll know about I, I I used to watch a lot of YouTube as a kid. And that is why I make YouTube content now. Some of my favorite YouTubes growing up were, um, Kawaii Cunicorn. I really liked watching her, um, 3AM videos. And, um, I used to watch a lot of MDE as well. Not when I was, like, a toddler because, like, MDE wasn't existent then. But, like, maybe when I was, like, I'm probably about, oh, I would have been five, six... Seven, perhaps, and now because I watched MD at a relatively young age, I think that maybe that's one of the um one of the uh, factors of me being the way that I currently am. <laughs> Rewatching them now, however, it's 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 yeah. it's uncomfortable now. But I, I I thought that it was funny when I was younger. I don't really have that many core cool memories because I, I don't remember basically every anything. Now you see most of the time when like information is given to me or whatever I, I'm just like oh okay I understand and then it just like goes right through me and then I kind of forget like two seconds later. But if it's something like like actually like important for example, Andy BSX Wikipedia page, then of course I'm gonna remember that. I can recite Andy BSX Wikipedia page off my heart. Andrew Dennis Biersack, born December 26, 1990, formerly known as Andy Six, is an American singer. He is the founder and lead vocalist for the rock band Blackville Brides. In 2016, under the moniker Andy Black, he started his. When was I again? Oh, yeah, that's right, talking about my experiences growing up. Um. I was also a gacha kid. Well, I mean, of course I was. So yeah, basically the negative aspects were that I, 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 w I wasn't really focused on society, and I still am not really. Um, the positive aspects. I know a lot of things. Kind of. I hope that you liked this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all of the latest updates. Bye!